subject, like a very important, intense, like, subject that it's, that's going to get you all, even you people in the back, seriously. I was thinking about what would it be like to have sex with a girl with a really loose vagina? I'm being serious. I'm not even, I've never done it myself, but I'm being fucking serious, all right? So, you know, you're doing your thing, and I mean, okay, dude, seriously, let's see, who should I pick on? You, right there. Do you know what it's like to have sex with a loose girl by any chance? Do you? Is it like, is it like sticking your dick in a hula hoop? <laughs> is, it, is it like fucking a window? <laughs> is it like, I mean, what do you have to do? I mean, do you have to like, kind of do like the whirlpool, like washing machine technique where you kind of go in circles around the edges? <laughs> I mean, is that how it works? I mean, how, how do you do it? You know? And also, the second thing I was thinking about was what would it be like to have sex with a girl who's really obese or really just fat? Like, her fat just covers the good stuff, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, how do you find it? Like, do you have to call a search and rescue? <laughs> hey, um, can you guys come down here now? I can't find this thing. And they're just like, we'll be there right now. They come in their fucking helicopter, <laughs> land on the roof, goof. Where is it at? You know, they use, like, a metal detector. <laughs> there it is. I found it. Do you have to, like, send in dogs after that shit? <laughs> Get it, Patches, go! <laughs> I found it! It's like, alright, we're gonna use some tire jacks. Make this thing happen. Hold up that fat. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. <laughs> this guy knows what I'm talking about. He's like, I know about tire jacks. It's not BF Goodrich. It's Boost Fuck a Big Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it's like, man. That's exactly what it's like. That's, that's some crazy stuff. Some weird stuff. Um... So, before I got here, I was watching some MTV, and I saw that dick, Michael Vick, on TV. He has his own TV show now, right? He's trying to redeem himself. He's like on there. The guy was interviewing, they go to that shit shack where he was doing, the, you know, the dog fights. And the guy was like, Michael Vick, what is it like to be here? He's like, oh, man, it's pain, man. Motherfucker, it's pain because you're not making any money. That's why it's pain. Stupid ass. So, okay, so basically, I have a theory about Michael Vick. If you want him to be successful in the NFL, all you have to do is hold up some dogs from the field goal posts, and this will be there in a heartbeat. He'll make a touchdown in a heartbeat. Forget it. He'll be there in, in seconds. Why couldn't he do, like, a better scandal? He had to do dog fighting. Like, all right, let me give you guys an example. If you're a 40-year-old male and that's white and, you live in, and you're from the Midwest, chances are you're related to Joseph Smith, right, the guy who founded uh, Mormonism? Now, if you're... <laughs> under 20 years old or 20 years of age and you're a white male or female or both um, chances are you're related to Tiger Woods <laughs> and let me tell you something about Tiger Woods he likes loose vagina and he doesn't like it because he likes to fuck with it he likes it because he likes to fuck with it now let me clarify what I mean by that this fool he'll have a bitch in the backyard a white bitch in the backyard with her legs open just like make a hole in one tiger and he has like his white girl caddy next to him like Give me that wedge. I'm gonna chip that bitch right in there. <laughs> Michael Vick fucked up there, he half-assed. Speaking of half-assed people, like taxes is coming up, April 15th, right? I found out this one fucked up program that you could use to file your taxes. It's called TurboTax. Let me tell you why it's fucked up. They got a trial version. How the fuck do you trially submit your, or how the fuck do you trially submit like taxes? You're gonna have some dude from like IRS knocking on your door talking about we got half your form. What the fuck's going on here? Oh, what? I tried the trial version. Sorry. That's half-assed. You know what else is half-assed? I was talking about MTV, right? I was watching MTV, and any of you, are in, is anybody in here a fan of that show, Pin My Ride, by any chance? Nobody good. Because this show is retarded. Let me tell you what it's like. Exhibit. His laugh is the dumbest fucking laugh. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Exhibit. This fool, okay, at the end, this dude was all excited. He got a new car because he drove a shit car. And let me tell you what this full exhibit says to him. He goes, we know you like video games. We know you like to game. So we're going to give you an Xbox without remotes. That's fucked up. How are you going to give somebody an Xbox without remotes? And you know what else they did? They put, a, they put LCD TVs inside somebody's headlights. When the fuck are you going to watch TV in your headlights? You're going to pull up to a stop sign. Oh, shit. This is my favorite part of this movie right here. Oh, man, that's dope. You're going to pull up to your house and you're off from work, chill on your headlights, get in the front, pop up like a chair. Your wife comes outside. Honey, what are you doing? Oh, I'm TiVoing uh, this episode of Glee. <laughs> you don't do that shit. 
And then tell me why they put a ping pong table on the back of this fool's minivan before. When are you going to play minivan in your car? You obviously ain't going to be doing that on the freeway. Are you going to come home from work, a hard day of work, and go, man, I want to play some ping pong in the back of my van. No, you're not. They put a, a hot tub in the back of somebody's van before, too, right? What's going to happen when you get pulled over? What is the cop going to think? He's going to be like, there's a hot tub back here? What are you, a bunch of crackheads? <laughs> they better have some, they better have some seatbelts inside the hot tub. They better. <laughs> I mean, seriously, like, if you get in an accident, you're going to be screwed. You're going to drown, and you're also going to get fucked up. So um, I'm going to leave you guys with this last thing. Does anybody in here use that site Formspring by any chance? Yeah, uh, that site sucks. <laughs> if you don't know what it is, basically it's a site where you can have like your own username and you have people ask you questions anonymously, right? And you won't believe the shit people ask you. If you're a girl, you're the worst target, all right? You have dudes going on there asking anonymous questions like, hey, can we fuck? How do you fuck somebody anonymously? You know what I'm saying? You like walk into a dark room and there's like, she's like, put it in, put it in. He's like, I would if I could fucking find it. He's got to use that metal detector. <laughs> For some reason, this is pointing toward this direction. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, so don't use form spring. It's stupid. Like, why can't people ask each other innocent questions like, hey, can you pass the salt? Or, hey, can you scratch my back? Nobody can do that. All right, thank you, everybody. Good night.